Um, Blood Water Mission started in uh, 2002, and it was just in response to what we had been learning about with HIV and AIDS in Africa, and um, just the overwhelming amount of people that didn't have access to clean water or proper medical care. Um, and so we, you know, knowing that as a band we had a platform, it wasn't the, the biggest platform in the world, but it wasn't the smallest. Uh, we felt like we wanted to do something. And uh, so we started really investing our time into learning stories about what was happening in Africa, getting to know people there, you know, as a means to be able to bring those stories back to the U.S. and talk about them from stage and try to rally people here to offer funds that we could use to help give people in Africa access to clean water and support surrounding HIV and AIDS. And now most of that work that we've been doing uh, has been under the umbrella of what's called the 1000 Wells Project. Uh, which is a campaign that we started in 2004 and that was uh, based on this equation that one U.S. dollar equals clean water for an African for an entire year, um, which is a, a mind-blowing statistic. It's, you know, to think that a dollar can go that far is, is pretty amazing and uh, a lot of people just made the connection that, well, if that's all it takes to help give somebody access to clean water, then I can do that. You know, everybody who was trying to, you know, figure out what role do we play and the story of loving well the poor. And this was a good way to connect. Since then, we've been able to um, complete about 700 water projects in 13 different countries in Africa, but it's really been able to give water to a little over 500,000 people. And so we're gonna hit the goal, we think of 1,000 wells by first quarter of 2010. So it's been really exciting and just amazing to see the way people in the U.S. and people in Africa have really responded to this idea. And just that we've really been able to be part of the story that is making Africans heroes in their own communities and helping them grow their communities into something that is, you know, healthy and sustainable. Feels like starting over. It seems to be kind of a, a uh, one fabric that's woven into, or one thread that's woven into the fabric of the record is, is the longing um, for to be known and to know. There's quite a few songs on the record that tackle that issue, Closer being one of them and Heaven being another. And, and it's just this idea that, um, you know, there's so many barriers that keep us from trusting each other enough to let each other carry burdens. We don't know how to trust someone else with the worst of who we are. And so what we always do is we kind of present more of a caricature or we try to present what we think people want to see of us. But that is a very tiring way of living, but we all do it. And so most of us are very tired and very fake. And I think that's one of the things we've experienced is just we're sort of all tired of living that way. And we really want to have more genuine, honest relationships with people. We want to be able to live in a world where there's that freedom that goes along with bring the fullness of who we are into our relationships and recognizing that there is enough grace and enough love to cover those things. And so that just sort of creates greater intimacy. So there's a longing for that in quite a few songs on the record. Mm -hmm.